Hello everyone, welcome to WeaverDev Academy. So in this video, we'll be designing the logout icon on our amp bar. So this is a very simple process. I will go down to our amp bar and let us remove the text which we have used as logout. I will go down and I will write accents and inside accent, I will write icon and then icon button okay I can but all right and here uh, I'll write icon icons dot logout log out and in this uh, function, in this on paste function, I will now copy the navigator.push code and paste it over here. Sorry. And paste it over here. Instead of login screen, I will write blowout here. Blowout screen done and the last thing we have to do is to add color over here and the color will be white colors white i will go to code and then i will reformat the code so that the indentation looks good and here as well in our text okay here as well we will be giving style let us add the style, comma, style, then text, style, color, and the color will be white. Okay, so the last thing which we have to do is to change the color of this hamburger menu to white. For that, let me write icon theme, icon theme data, color, colors dot white that's all so now i can see the hamburger menu the uh, name of the app bar or the title of the app bar and this logo button all the colors uh, have been changed to white which is looking good now and if i just click on this button i am being redirected to the logout page and then again to the login page and if i sign in as uh, Alex on two three. Uh huh. Alex and red about uh, three. I am take. I am being taken to our uh, dashboard or the home screen. Okay. So in the next video, we will only be showing the orders. If I just click on view orders, I am able to see all the orders. I think uh, we have not ordered from this ID. So uh, if I make any order, let me go to home and add to cart, then check out, then let me write my name, then my mobile number and my state and the address and submit. And now if I go to orders, I'll be able to see the order here. I think there is some issue with the order. I have to check what exactly the issue. That I inserted successfully. And let me go to my orders. And view order page is not working again. Okay, so we were checking the wrong uh, screen. Uh, let me uh, click on my orders here. I'm able to see that uh, recently I have uh, made this order, order ID with 12. Okay, again, I will go back and go to home and add this item to our cart. And then I will order uh, with the name, taste, EABN, then the mobile number, then the state, and then the address and if i click on submit 
I am able to see that the order has been successfully placed. And if I go back and click on my orders, here I'll be able to see the order with ID number 13 that the, the name of the customer is test oven and the status is null. So in this screen, we will only be showing the orders which have been placed by this user ID or by me. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe this channel for further updates.